All right. With that, I'd like to call to order the December 7th Internal Services Committee meeting, the final Internal Services meeting of 2020, and why wouldn't we have some technical difficulties? So, Mike, please call the roll. All right. Chair Smith. President, Clinton Township, Macomb County, Michigan. Commissioner Duje. Uh, President Warren, Macomb County, Michigan. Commissioner Sauger. Commissioner Sauger. Commissioner Kleinfeld. President East Point, Macomb County, Michigan. Thank you. Commissioner Romano. Commissioner Romano, District 4, Sterling Heights, President participating remotely in Macomb County, Michigan. Thank you. Commissioner Myjack. Yeah, Rob Myjack here, uh, Sterling Heights, Macomb County, Michigan. Commissioner Brown. Commissioner Brown. Commissioner Kraft. Commissioner Kraft attending remotely, Chesterfield Township, Macomb County, Michigan. Commissioner Leonetti. Commissioner Leonetti. Commissioner Hall. Commissioner Hall. Present by Pity Hill, Roseville, Michigan, Macomb Township. And Commissioner Lacido. And that completes the roll, Chair Kraft. Thank you, Mike. And I think Commissioner Haas is from Macomb County, Michigan, right now. Please rise for the pledge. <laughs> <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> Next is the adopt the agenda. I'll take a motion to adopt. Commissioner Romano, adopt the agenda. Support. Motion from Ramon. Support. Report from Haw. Commissioners, please vote. That motion passes unanimously. Thank you, Mike. Next is the approval of minutes dated November 9th, 2020. Take a motion to approve. Moved by Kleinfeld. Supported by Romano. Motion by Kleinfeld, support by Romano. Not seeing or hearing any questions or comments. Commissioners, please vote. That motion passes seven to zero. Thank you, Mike. Next is public participation. Anybody from the public wishing to speak? Please remember to unmute yourself either on your computer or your phone. And star six is the other trick. Public participation. Anything on the agenda? Public participation. All right. Hearing and seeing none for public participation, we will close that and move on to item 6A, department recommendations. Uh, A is the budget amendment, capital improvement fund, door replacement project in the amount of $42,059, and it is a decrease. Take a motion to approve. Motion to approve, Duje. Motion from Commissioner Duje. Is there support? Support, support from Romano. Romano. Support from Romano, I heard. Lee here, take it away. Uh, yes, this item is for the from the capital plan, and it contained an item regarding the installation of variable speed fan drives at the court building. Fan drives allow us to vary the speed of a fan and can control the air static volume. Fan drives will also allow us to reduce the volume of air based upon demand. The court building has seven fans and each fan contains two drives, supply and return. Our mechanical system supervisor presented an idea of performing the installation with in-house personnel utilizing the boiler refrigeration and electrician personnel rather than utilizing an outside contractor. We ordered two drives and installation went quite well. We are therefore requesting 
amount of $52,113.74 be transferred from the general fund to the capital plan for the purchase of the 14 drives from Cochrane Supply and Engineering. The, dri the drives are manufactured by Yazkawa. These drives are the only ones compatible with our equipment, and Cochrane Supply is the local authorized dealer for Yazkawa. Thanks, Lynn. Before we talk about the fan drives, uh, I brought up the door replacement project. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't want to interrupt you. And you're going to give the information. I was out of flow. <laughs> it's okay. So can you um, update us on the door replacement project? Yes. Uh, this is a pleasant surprise. We actually have a decrease in the budget amendment. Uh, when you approve the contract for professional services, it was based upon an estimated cost of construction. Upon receipt of bids and award to the low bidder, the professional services contract is then amendment, amended or adjusted to reflect actual construction cost. In this case, the actual fee re was reduced and the fee for professional services went from $68,750 to $21,691.30. We are also requesting a reimbursable expense not to exceed $5,000. Thank you, Lynn. I don't see any commissioners with comments or questions about this item. I so think I've confused everyone. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we've got this. <laughs> commissioners, please vote on the door replacement project. Chair, did we get a motion to approve? Yes, for the door replacement project, we did. Thank you. That motion passes unanimously. Thank you, Mike. All right, next, let's do, do we want to do B and C together? Budget amendment from the capital improvement plan for the cool building variable speed fan drives and the purchase of from Cochrane Supply and Engineering, Inc. for the amount of 52000 $113.74. Motion to approve BNC. Support uh, Romano. Motion uh, from... Item say, say again, Commissioner Duje. The, the item has changed. Lynn was talking about the high-speed fans and now it ended up being B and C and then that's how it's listed in the, on the agenda. Commissioner Duje, when I started my agenda, the door replacement project was A, and then the, the fan speeds were B and C. Mine have gotten out of order since then also. <laughs> so <laughs> I stuck with, with the door replacement project first. Lynn has talked about everything she's needed to talk about on today's agenda. <laughs> so if we have questions about the fan drives, <laughs> You're more than welcome to speak. <laughs> we Thank you. I thought I was only my mom. <laughs> All right. Any commissioners with questions or comments about the speed fan drives? I don't see any. I don't hear any. Commissioners, please vote for items B and C. Thank you, Lynn. We're all having a rough day today. <laughs> Thank you. That motion passes unanimously. Thanks, Mike. Thanks again, Lynn. Next is item 6D, Agreements, Information Technology, Maintenance Agreements for the First Quarter 2021 Package 2 in the amount of $733,145.88. Take a motion to approve. Motion to approve, Romano. I'll support that, Myjack. Motion from Commissioner Romano, support from Commissioner Myjack. Jaco, go ahead. Good afternoon, Commissioners, and uh, thank you for the time to present this. Um, this is uh, the first one here is uh, maintenance agreements 
uh, some additional ones for first quarter of 2021. Uh, there's AT&T uh, 911 services for $74,070. Uh, as well as BSNA software, Image Soft, which is OnBase, uh, Mitchum Cormac, which is our visual health system, um, Onyx, uh, Google Suite, which is our email system, Quadran, which is the uh, court system for the district courts, and then WatchGuard, which is the body camera and in-car camera system. Uh, the total uh, the total maintenance is seven hundred thirty three thousand one hundred and forty five dollars and eighty eight cents, and as I say, this is first quarter next year. Thank you, Jaco. Uh, Commissioner Romano. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Chair. Hi, Jaco. Jaco, those numbers that you just gave us. Are there any surprises here? Are these the numbers that we anticipated from the uh, every time this that we anticipated when this first quarter came up? Is there any additions to the numbers that we originally had? No, our uh, our um, increases that we see there is pretty much in line with what we normally expect. The only one that's a little higher is Google Services, uh, but the main reason for that is the uh, the usage of exactly what we're using here right now. During the pandemic, it was actually provided to all of us for free. But to continue to have this service available through Google, we have to uh, sign up for the service, which is uh, one of the things we did. So in addition to paying Google, they squeeze us now because of the pandemic. Wonderful. That's all I have, Chair. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Commissioner Urbano. I don't see any other questions or comments from commissioners, so please vote. That motion passes unanimously. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Jaco. Next is uh, full board approval requested for contract purchases for the Comtech Media Center renovations in the amount of $75,257.23, uh, going to Motor City Electric Technologies for installation in the amount of $38,905 and Presidio for equipment in the amount of $36,352.23. Take a motion to for full board approval. Motion to approve. Motion, support. Motion from Haas, support from Duje. I see Vicky's here. Should I go to Vicky? Should I go to Jaco? Whichever one of you wants to take it, go for it. I, I will speak to Eden, and obviously Vicky can uh, correct me where I'm wrong. Um, <clears throat> Uh, commissioners, this is, I first want to thank you for allowing this to be uh, as a bypass item for the for today so that we can uh, get this uh, forward as quickly as possible. Um, this is a motion to grant full board approval at this committee and approve the contracts or purchases of Motor City Electric Technologies in the amount of $38,905 and also Presidio for $36,362. Uh, it totals $75,257.23. Um, the IT equipment required for the Comtech Media Center project, which is what this is, um, is um, or includes uh, low voltage, fiber optic cabling, surveillance equipment, access control equipment, and also network equipment. To make sure that that works uh, properly, um, you know, with all the other equipment that we have in that uh, building. So that is what the request for is today. And um, please, uh, any questions, if there's any questions? Thanks, Jaco. Vicki, did you want to add anything before I jump to questions? Sure, if I can. And nothing to correct, Jaco, on what you said. Just to add oh, for a little clarification. Um, when we talked about the JIC project before, and obviously um, that whole $2 million that was moved over in the budget amendment that the board approved, um, there were some items that we had said the board hadn't seen yet. 
Um, so you've approved the PIA contract for the architect. You approved the FHA, FH Martin contract for the actual construction project. And then we had these four other items that we went um, sole source vendors because they're who the county used and because of the items. So these are the two IT items. Uh, that are before you today for, for approval. And then the last two pending that we will bring back to you will be for the flooring and then for um, the furniture, again, using county approved contractors. So I just wanted to make that tie in for you and um, explain that uh, we were um, coming back with the items as, as we had stated that, that we would. Uh, and that is it, thank you. Thanks, Vicki. Commissioner Kleinfeld. Thank you. We never, because the other two projects in the budget amendment were already uh, starting, and this was not a project that we had really discussed, we never really got into what's, what is the need for this project and why is it happening. And I, I believe I voted no last time. I'm in a bit of a quandary because I think the problem with getting on to the meeting may have caused Sagar to not be able to be on and cast a vote. And this is a full board request. And when I voted no last time, I well, I voted yes on the amendment because it was tie barred with the um, the morgue and everything. So um, I'm not sure why this is a why this is a need that is is something that has to take place when we have so much uncertainty. Would you talk a little bit about this project? What it is? What why we're why we're going for this right now? Sure, I can do that. The Joint Information and Media Center, um, when I've talked about it before and described the, the project, um, it, as we've said before, public information, um, getting information out to people about what's going on with COVID, anything dealing with the press, all of our social media updates that occur via Twitter or um, the county website. Um, anything like that is being handled by our Joint Information Center people. And as we found out through the duration of this type of event, we really don't have a good center and or good tools within that center for them to operate out of. Um, so this project is was to address to create a space for them that they were working out of. Um, within the Department of Roads uh, conference room. So in the area or the building adjacent to um, ComTech. So quite literally the people in that location were, were working at, um, one, they had no, no monitors whatsoever to monitor any media or any of the information um, going out. Um, they had laptops. In some cases they were utilizing banquet tables. There were cables running all over, all over the floor um, so it was quite lacking all of that, that we needed to be more efficient um, and, um, you know, get the work done and, and get the job out. Um, many times, too, they'd have to come and use the Emergency Operations Center to use some of those tools. Um, so then EOC personnel would, would be displaced and, and have to leave. Um, and it just wasn't good for um, operations. So this project is to create um, that, that type of center that will be be able to continue using throughout the duration, uh, as we all know, probably looking at least another year, um, that will be in somewhat this, this atmosphere. Um, so that was the, the purpose of the overall, um, of overall JIC. Um, and obviously we want to get the project done as quick as possible. Um, so that's too why we asked for the by, bypass for um, board approval um, today rather than waiting till next week just so we can start to get some of that low voltage wiring done in, construct, in conjunction with the rest of the uh, project. Is this also, is this going to be like a studio type thing as well? You know, for production of uh, videos or audio, um, recordings to get information out, is that... Potentially within this area, yeah, we'd be able to do that, or in, in the larger area in that, yes. All right, thank you. Thanks, Commissioner. Commissioner Romano. Thank you, Chair. You know what, uh, Commissioner Kleinfeld, um, that was uh, some of my concerns also, I'll be honest, really was. but. I just, I'm sure if you haven't heard me just say before the meeting, I'll say it again. Uh, our illustrious uh, 
governor just extended uh, another, I think it's to the 18th shutdown. And I think we need to get that information out as quickly as possible. And uh, I understand the need for this. Uh, of course, who knows how long this is going to last. Uh, the spending of the money now uh, with money that possibly may or may not have in the future, uh, I understand that also. But I think this is one of those, it's not what they want, it's a need. And uh, I was kind of reluctant on my end also, Commissioner Kleinfeld, but uh, I do see that there is a need for it. That's all I have, Chair. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. I don't see any other comments or questions from commissioners, uh, so please vote. Again, remember this is final approval. That motion passes 8-0. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Vicki. Thank you, Jaco. Thank, Thank you. you. Commissioners. All right, next is new business. Any commissioners with new business? I have something. Commissioner Kleinfeld, go ahead. <clears throat> I am so happy to hear that your A, B, and C flipped on you because I have been uh, telling our staff that this has been happening to me while I was chairing meetings. And I kept saying to you guys, I don't know what's wrong with me today. I can't get myself together. Only it wasn't me at all. I finally started taking pictures of my screen because it would happen in the middle of the meeting. And then I could take another picture and send it off to Mike. But this is the first time I got other people to verify that, in fact, I'm not crazy. And I really appreciate that. Thank you. Anytime I can help. <laughs> Any other commissioners with new business? All right, seeing and hearing none, we will close new business, move on to public participation. Anybody from the public wishing to speak can speak on any item. You have five minutes. Anybody for public participation? All right, seeing and hearing none, we will close public participation. Motion to adjourn Duvi. Romano supports. There we go. I was wondering who would support. Commissioners, please vote. We miss you already, Leon. <laughs> that motion passes. With every shot. <laughs> Thank you all. Have a good afternoon. You too. Take care, Chair. <laughs>